Hello everybody, uh, this is my facial recognition authentication demo. We're going to start by enrolling because I have this headset. I'm going to need to enroll with the headset so that I can actually see. Okay, so it tells us to turn our face in different directions. This is to prevent video replay attacks. Um, and we've trained and we can see here that we had no error. It was a success, successful call. And this is the reference ID from the Ping Federate uh, server that says, hey, this is the token that you use in order to contact me. And then this is the attributes that I'm sending. Um, post POC, we would want the attributes, more attributes to be returned from Active Directory, but I was unable to get that going. Um, there are different reasons for that. Uh, this application, because we are acting as the identity provider, would need a custom adapter. Um, so let's actually go back. We're going to go back and we are going to now verify. See, the enrollment and verification process is virtually identical. Um, right now, I have you entering an employee ID number. Uh, so after the POC, when it gets implemented into the warehouse, we would want enrollment to be separate from verification. And you would use the same registering process that you would for ESS uh, currently. So you would enter, you know, birth date, uh, last four digits social security number and your employee ID to enroll and then verify what happened without any input from the user. So now we're going to verify um, and it's going to do the challenge response thing again. Again this is to prevent from somebody just playing a video in front of the camera. Uh, hopefully this works. Sometimes facial recognition can be tricky, especially when you're wearing a headset. Okay, and it worked. Uh, we got no error, and it's true. And see, we got a different reference ID number for verification. That is, that is um, assigned every single time you make a call to Ping Federate. And again, we got our employee ID number. Uh, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Um, there's one last thing, which is automatic log off. Um, with this, ooh, I'm going to have to, I don't have enough USB ports here, let's do it here. Um, so I did promise automatic log off, uh, is using a sonar device that I'm going to be plugging in right now. Right now it's mapped to the escape key. You can map it or, um, assign it anything that you want because it comes with an SDK. Uh, you can have it just do a redirect, you can have it do something special if you want right now just for this POC, it's for the escape key. So when I move away from the camera, you can see that it logged off. And I come back in, nothing happens of course because it's just set to log off. It's that simple and it works very well. Um, that's about it for the demo. Uh, if you want to know more information, David Treese uh, is the guy to call. He's the IAM Enterprise Architect. Uh, he's going to be taking over this project after I'm done. And i um, like to thank BioID and RF Ideas for giving me the sonar device. It's really cool. The sonar device is only $80, so if you want to buy one and play around with it, it's really cool. It does a lot of certain things. But um, that's about it. Bye.